case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for the legal dispute between stephen Wynn, a former medical student and tufts university school of medicine was a landmark case concerning the obligations educational institutions have towards students with disabilities Wynn, a former medical student was dismissed from tufts after failing biochemistry he claimed suffering from a learning disability asserting that Tufts discriminated against him based on his handicap. The Rehabilitation Act of 1973, Section 504 states that a handicapped person who is otherwise qualified should not be subjected to discrimination. The district court initially sided with Tufts, suggesting Wynne didn't meet the necessary criteria as he was unable to pass biochemistry. However, upon hearing Wynne's appeal, the full court highlighted the importance of considering whether reasonable accommodations were offered that meets the legitimate interests of both the student and institution. The case was subsequently returned to the lower court for further proceedings. There, the main issue was to decide whether Tufts had made all reasonable attempts to accommodate Wynn's handicap, or if any further adjustments would jeopardize academic standards or unduly alter the program. The lower court favored Tufts concluding they had met their responsibility of considering alternative testing formats and that sidestepping the status quo of multiple-choice testing was not feasible. Upon reviewing the case and all evidence presented, the court concluded that Tufts had made a justifiable attempt to evaluate all possible accommodations, determining that further accommodations would result in undeserving strain on their program. Tufts had made reasonable efforts providing Wynn with neuropsychological tests, tutoring, and untimed exams. Ultimately, the court reaffirmed the original ruling in favor of Tufts and dismissed Wynn's allegations that the university's reasons for not accommodating him further were disingenuous. The court declined to enter the broader debate around whether a dyslexic medical student is ever entitled to take an examination orally. The decision is now considered a key reference point for similar academic disputes. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.